winking. All right, go. Hey, hi, I'm Buffy, Buffy and Designs, and I'm here today to kind of review the anatomy of your stitch light. So, yeah, it looks like a little camera, huh? It's a light, awesome. And I want to go through all the little parts of it so you get to really know what it is and how to adjust it, etc. So, this is the stitch light. It's a light that has a utility pocket and a strap that you can wear around your neck. Not around your head, around your neck. Okay. So let's walk through it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take the pocket off so it doesn't distract us so much. And as you can see, it's very easy. It just slides out the back. Zip. Actually, this pocket is awesome just to even put in your bag. So there you go. It's big enough for a Starbucks card, a little bit of cash, keys. Pop it in your pocket, put it in your bag, whatever you want to do. Oh, if you get that, thank you. Fantastic. So now we've got our light on a strap. So let's talk about it. This is the nose of the light, and it adjusts. What we tend to want to do is we want to unwind it, because we think that's going to turn it on or off. It does not turn it on or off. This little nose pushes forward and back. It pushes forward and back. What does that do? That narrows the beam of the light. So I'm going to turn the light on. How do I turn the light on? If I look at the top, there's this little soft knob right here, and you can feel it with your eyes closed. Look at once. See how that got a little red around that? Oops, there you can probably see the light pretty good. That right there is a nice broad light. Wow. So great. So now what? Well, let's say I want to knit in the car. Let's say I want to knit or crochet or do my hobby in the living room and everybody's watching Pirates of the Caribbean and the lights are out. What am I going to do? If I shine this nice and bright like that, it might be a little bit too much. What I can do is I can take the nose and I can pull it and makes a much smaller area. So it's a little bit like stealth knitting. Yeah, stealth light. So it's not as broad of a spectrum. Sometimes it's just enough so I can keep knitting without being in complete dark out. Push it back. Very simple. Open it, close it. If I turn it, nothing happens. Nothing. Open Simple like that. Again, I turn it on with this little soft button at the top. Now, so then what? If I want to hit one more time to turn off that, turn it off, but there's something more to say. This is a nice bright white light. Now, sometimes that's a little too much. When would that be too much? Well, maybe if I'm knitting in the daylight on my porch and I just need a little something to help me out with that beautiful new colorway that I've got that's got the browns and the deep blacks and things like that. So then I'm going to click it one time and it goes to a softer light. It's really great for reading. I can use it with my Kindle. Um, I want to read a book, etc. And then if I go one more time, it's going to flash. When would I use that? Drop a stitch. Need a glass of wine. Maybe. <laughs> no, or I want to use it for my emergency kit. I click one more time and it goes off. 